Mr. Speaker, I stand to support the motion which was moved by the Prime Minister, which will cause the youth economy to get an injection, which will cause the youth economy, Mr. Speaker, to get even more support. While, Mr. Speaker, my presentation will not be very long, I could not resist the temptation to say something about this very powerful project, this very powerful idea by the Prime Minister to focus on the youth, to focus on, on what is called a youth economy as a special area of, of investment, as a special opportunity for young people to develop their talents and to develop their skills. In the constituency of VA4 North, Mr. Speaker, there are many young people who have developed some very special, what I call niche activities. Some of them have developed some very special dishes that people from all over St. Lucia come to the communities to sample. You will not believe, Mr. Speaker, on a Tuesday evening or any other weekday that so many people from all, our, all around St. Lucia come to communities like Grace and Bellevue and Piro and Savans Bay and small communities at, like Labode and Vigie to sample whether it is stew pork in the Viewfort North special way or whether it is fish or lobster. And I'm learning every day, Mr. Speaker, of young people who are developing special, special um, packages. There's another a young lady I met not too long ago, um, Ms. Dalsu, who's developing a special niche activity in seafood, Mr. Speaker. And you come to Opico and you, and you, 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 you call, you use your, your cell phone, you order the seafood, and you just come in there, you get your lobster, you get your, your, your fish, your cough, and <laughs> all of these things. Mr. Speaker, so every single day, I discover a young person in Viewfort North who's developing some kind of small business. There, we have some people into music. We have um, people like Clint Mitchell, Mr. Speaker, with their studio. And <clears throat> we have Miss Kuman and many others, Kenya, and so many of the, 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 these individuals who have their small businesses. And you know what, Mr. Speaker? A number of them have applied to the, to the youth economy, and I can tell you that several young people from VA4 North have actually benefited from loans and grants from the youth economy agency. And it is causing their friends and the other people in the community to realize that this government certainly is giving them an opportunity to develop their talents, to develop their skills. There are a number of young people in my constituency, in the constituency of VA4 North, who have cultural skills, writing skills. We have, we have Ms. O'Brien, who represented um, the Caribbean in France not too long ago at a poetry festival. And she has written her own, her own book, Mr. Speaker, her own booklet. And there are so many of them who are trying to access the youth economy agency. Some of them have succeeded, and they're excited about this project. So when I see even more funds being been pumped into the Youth Economy Agency and, and the Youth Economy Project. Um, of course, with transparency, I am very happy, Mr. Speaker, and I know again that this government is demonstrating that we are different. We are very different. We do not believe only in massive investments, um, although we need those massive investments, whether it be from hoteliers, whether it be from, from land developers, real estate, and so on. All of these are very important. But at the same time, we know that there are young people who have special talents. And these special talents, if only you give them an opportunity, if only you give the young people a little help, sometimes $1,000, sometimes two, three thousand dollars And these young people can use this opportunity and really blossom into something much bigger. At this time, Mr. Speaker, I also wish to recognize the, the contributions of, of, of um, Export St. Lucia, and Export St. Lucia has connected to a number of individuals in the Viewfort North area, the farmers, the CMOS farmers, and so on. And I see how this connects to the Youth Economy Agency, because a number of the people who are into CMOS and CMOS processing are young people in Viewfort North, and they are connecting Export St. Lucia and also the Youth Economy Agency to produce some really good results. So I support this, Mr. Speaker, and I simply want to encourage the young people all over, young people all over St. Lucia to go to the Youth Economy Agency, 
go out there, look for an opportunity, and you will get the assistance, you will, you will, you will get um, help to move your project and your project idea forward. Again, Mr. Speaker, I repeat, this is a different government. We are different to them. Very different, Mr. Speaker. And you can see every initiative, every time we come to Parliament, as I said before, with the help for the fire service, it's something new, something refreshing, something different, and something definitely demonstrating to the people of St. Lucia, whether you are youth, whether you are fire service, whether you are the police, the elderly, pregnant, whoever you are, the men, whoever you are, we definitely are putting you first. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.